Tomo News presents Cat Survival Stories. Vet removes two huge fly larvae from kitten's body. Brace yourselves, Tomo fans. What's about to happen to this cat is not pretty at all. The video, shot on January 6th and released this week, shows a veterinarian using a surgical instrument to very carefully and gently pull out a couple of healthy looking cuterebra, parasites whose eggs find their way onto the bodies of cute little animals by detecting heat. When they hatch, they then get cozy underneath the animal's skin and stay there for a little while. A delightful sight to behold, we know. Imagine being the cat. In case you're wondering, the larva will grow to roughly the size of the first joint of a person's thumb. Ew! After about a month, the cuterebra larva then makes its way off the host, hops to the ground and pupates, becoming a full-fledged botfly. It's gross, yes, but you'll be happy to know the little kitty, though in obvious discomfort, is going to be just fine. No more creepy crawlies hiding in you, little one. Good Samaritan saves cats stuck on busy highway. This man, Richard Christensen, is a hero, although he claims he's nothing of the kind. But to Little Freeway the cat, he certainly is. On April 9, Christensen posted this to Facebook. Watch his heroism as he risks all to save the life of this little fella. Poor cat, I don't know if somebody let him out or if he was walking, but it looked like he got scared and he's trying to make it through this fence. He's been chewing on the fence. He's scared as hell. I know you're dehydrated. I know, baby. I'm going to help you, okay? Oh, my God. I know, baby. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, baby. I know you're scared, dehydrated. You can, I know. Can I help you? Can I help? I know. Can I help you? I know, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the Humane Society and have you checked out, okay? Get you uh, back to dehydration in a nice, quiet little spot. Freeway is now recovering in a foster home thanks to Good Samaritan Richard Christensen. Faith in humanity restored. This poor kitten in China got trapped behind a glass wall without food and water and was slowly dying. But luckily, a good Samaritan came to the rescue. Earlier this month, the cat somehow became stuck behind the wall in a building in the southwestern city of Tandu. After a period reported to be three days, a karaoke receptionist saw the kitten. He looked around but realized there were no gaps available for him to pull the little guy out. So the receptionist called the building's property management office to ask for help. Building staff knew the glass wall was built between aluminum door frames and a load-bearing wall. So they dug out a tunnel to rescue the kitten. After the successful rescue, the receptionist decided to take the tired and hungry cat home and adopt it. However, despite the good news, we're still wondering exactly how did the kitten get trapped in the first place? And why it took three days for anyone to notice? Let us know in the comments if you got any bright ideas about that. Kitten freed from a glass jar. Bystanders stumbled upon this kitten that had its entire head stuck in a glass jar and filmed its rescue. They were able to grab hold of the black and white kitten and used a hammer to slowly crack away at the jar. Yeah. 
Hastası da çıkart. Çıkmadı. Gözle, gözle, gözle. Onu fırlatmak lazım. Eleme, eleme. Kes izleyin başını, gözle. Uzan, uzan bir şey, uzan. Uzan, uzan. Uzan. Until eventually the kitten was freed. Now we're not sure if that was really the best way to free a kitten that's stuck in a jar, but uh, things could have gone a whole lot worse. <laughs> Felix the cat uses up one of her nine lives. A London dock worker is being hailed a hero after he saved a cat from drowning in the River Thames. The surveillance footage of the incident was posted to Facebook by London's Royal Docks on Monday. It shows the docks engineering and operations manager, Scott Durbin, leaping into action after Felix fell into the drink. Felix got an unexpected bath when she was fighting with another cat, and things got out of hand. But Scott Durbin wasn't about to let the Royal London Docks official office cat drown. Faster than a speeding bullet, Durbin ran to the water's edge and grabbed the little kitty by her neck before she sunk to the bottom of the river. We're not sure if cats are good swimmers, but Durbin wasn't taking any chances. Felix the cat was doing fine on Tuesday. A spokesman for the dog said he was happy to report that the kitty experienced no injury or trauma. However, Felix may have suffered a little wounded pride. The spokesman said everyone in the office had been laughing behind Felix's back about her blase, nothing to see here routine that followed her dunking. 10 day old kitten survives dog attack and amputation. A Colorado animal shelter has saved the cutest and most resilient kitten. Aptly named Trooper, a 10 day old kitten was facing death when he was brought to an animal hospital in Golden, Colorado. Trooper lived under the porch in the area with four other siblings. The kittens could barely open their eyes or walk when... Eventually, the litter was found, but only two of the kittens had survived. Trooper and his sister, Patience, seen here, were taken to the animal hospital. Trooper's badly injured leg put him on the verge of death. Veterinarians decided it was best to remove the leg, and the kitten underwent a risky operation. Following the surgery, Trooper was, well, a trooper. The tiny kitten pulled through. He and his sister were placed in a foster home as they continued their recovery process. Recently, Trooper has been adopted by his forever parents and has grown into a handsome, active cat. Uh, what kind of a person throws an animal off a bridge? A charter boat captain made an unexpected catch when he rescued a drowning cat off the coast of Florida last Thursday. 35-year-old Jordan Smith was piloting his boat near the northwest side of a bridge to pick up a group for a fishing trip. That's when Smith saw something fly off Marler Bridge. He initially thought someone had thrown a bag of trash into the water, but when the object started moving, Smith then thought it was an otter. But once it started swimming in his direction, Jordan realized it was a cat that desperately needed help. Smith immediately scooped the black feline out of the water, not caring that his boat got scuffed up a bit after bumping into the bridge a couple times during the rescue. After being saved, the wet poor feline reportedly clung tightly to Smith's arm until they were back to shore. Smith later contacted law enforcement, but the case is listed as inactive. As to be frank, there really isn't any solid evidence the cat was thrown off the bridge. But it seems pretty unlikely that the cat was just going for a swim, no? In a very happy ending, Captain Smith plans to adopt the kitty and wants to name her Miracle. Hemingway's cats are doing just fine after the storm. All of the descendants of Ernest Hemingway's cats avoided a cat astrophy down in the Florida Keys and made it through Hurricane Irma with all toes intact. The 54 six and seven toed cats, along with 10 brave workers from the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum in Key West are all okay. As Irma approached last week, a full evacuation was issued for the Florida Keys. Jackie Sands, the general manager of the museum, ignored the order and stayed put. Sands said she felt she had an obligation to make sure the cats and the grounds made it through the hurricane. The cats must have known something was up and reportedly came inside once they sensed a drop in barometric pressure. The 18 inch thick limestone walls of the house helped a little too. In total, 10 employees stayed behind to help look after all the little fur balls during the storm. But now with the storm gone, things aren't perfect. They don't have power, water or internet, but they do have generators, food and medical supplies on site. Police save injured cat. Come here.
Earlier this month, deputies in Sonoma County banded together to save this little feline from underneath a car. Milo the cat, who had burned paws, seemed a little bit unsure of the well-meaning law enforcement, but that didn't stop them from trying. Later, they managed to get a leash around Milo and then set about finding the animal's owner. According to the Los Angeles oh, Times, 22 people died during the wildfire yeah. and over 8,000 homes were destroyed. That makes the fire one of wine country's deadliest. You're safe now. But thankfully, Milo's owner was okay and the two were later reunited. The animal was dehydrated, but is said to be doing well. Two cats swam to safety after the engine of their owner's tuna boat exploded off the coast of Oregon. Mark and Cynthia Schneider were fishing 80 miles off the coast when an explosion blew off the back section of the boat. After being rescued by a boat nearby, they spotted the felines and began calling out to them. One trapped on the bow leapt into the water and swam to safety. Both cats were rescued. The couple say they lost some $40,000 worth of tuna in the accident. Cat survives being impaled on eight foot tall fence. Guess cats really do have nine lives. A London cat is lucky to be alive after he was found impaled on an eight foot tall fence by a good Samaritan last Friday in the middle of the night. The person immediately called the RSPCA who got in touch with a London fire brigade. Firefighters helped remove the upper part of the fence and then transported the cat to the nearest vet for surgery. The two fence posts luckily missed the feline's vital organs. One pierced his back leg and the second went through his abdomen. It's crazy the cat is still alive. Even crazier, he's up and walking around already.